Greetings, everybody. I'm going to walk through how Render.com and GitHub will host your web app. As you can see, I'm walking through Render.com like I did on my last course, creating a free web service with the server.js at the root. This is going through the process of the deployment. This deployment ultimately does this every time you make a change on your GitHub account. So if you make a change to any of the files affiliated with here, this will automatically update. I have the free tier, so therefore it's going rather slow. But um, this is a good example of how you can get to learn their product for free. And if you like it, obviously you can pay them more and it'll probably be a little faster. This might take a while, so it will appear that your work is broken, but it's not, it just takes a minute. Here uh, is the logs along with any kind of details you'd wanna find updating. Here's my GitHub account. This is where I store the site. If you go to pages under settings, you can see that you can host the site for free. They're not charging you. So I'm gonna to get to the client and this is the index.html where we've been working in our previous courses. So it's a static site. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't have anything dynamic going on. But it, uh, as you know, render.com is tied to my JavaScript there. So if I update, let's say the client that was going to the local host 5000 to our render.com where our web service is at, if I update this path on the client side, we're going to notice that we're seeing updates here on GitHub, so that's being deployed. That's our static side deployed correctly. And as you can see, the server, ser uh, server side service, the server.js in the root, is deploying on render. These two are tied together now that I've put that path in there. So once this deploys, we should have a running web app on GitHub running for free. Now, obviously, you can put, um, you know, a domain towards it and build something much more sophisticated. But uh, this is all just very simple to put together with a few clicks. And let's go ahead and see if it's working. And as you can see in the URL, that is the render.com URL we were trying to, to send out to. Here's the response. It's all working great. And as you can see, we are looking at the asterisk, which is the wildcard, meaning everybody can get access to this. So let's put some restrictions on that. As you can see, I'm going to change this origin to specify that it can only come in from my GitHub account. And the hosting for free from GitHub is where I want to go ahead and say, hey, this is the only spot where you can get requests from. So I'm going to update the cores as we'll see the process start all over again. And there it goes. Cores update so it knows that, hey, remember, this is what you typed in. This is what we're working on, auto-deploying. We'll go back to the logs here, if possibly. There we go. So we're almost done. getting closer your service is live so let's go take a look and let's see if the restrictions are working in our favor let's clear out our data so we know we're getting a fresh start okay as you can see it is working strict origin when crossed over to the allow access control allow origin is the github account i specified as you can see this is the only one allowed and we did get in i hope you learned something here have a great day